So 3.2.3 using moles to balance equations. This is probably the highest higher tier stuff that you'll do. Uh, it doesn't get much trickier than this. And if you go into this with confidence, you can do it, but expect your brain to hurt a little bit. So um, if you're given the masses of the reactants in a chemical reaction, what you can do is convert them into moles and you can compare the molar ratio. That way the equation can be calculated or can be found out using that. For example, let's look at an example. If you take 48 grams of methane, CH4, and react it with 192 grams of oxygen, then from that you can work out the balanced symbol equation. Let's have a look how to do it. So methane has a relative formula mass of 16, carbon 12, hydrogen is 1, but there's 4 hydrogens. So you, first thing you do is work out the moles of methane. 48 divided by 16 is 3. You've got 3 moles of methane. Next you work out the moles of oxygen. So 192 grams, um, you divide that by the relative formula mass of oxygen. Well oxygen is diatomic, so each oxygen atom is worth 16 grams, so 16 times 2 is 32. So 192 divided by 32 is 6. You have 6 moles of oxygen. So 3 moles of methane reacts fully with 6 moles of oxygen. That's not the simplest um, ratio of those, it would be a 1 to 2. So we would say the balanced simple equation was this. 1 mole of CH4 methane reacts with 2 moles of oxygen, O2, and produces 1 mole of carbon dioxide and 2 moles of water. How have we done that? We've used the masses, we've converted the masses into moles, and we've used the ratio so we can calculate the equation. Well, if you look at this second example, let me read it out for you. Um, balanced simple equation when 3.6 grams of water and 9.5 grams of magnesium chloride are formed from magnesium hydroxide reacting with hydrochloric acid. So first of all, you need to work out how many moles you've got of water present. Well, the molecular formula of water is 18, oxygen 16, hydrogen is 1, and there's two hydrogen atoms, so it's 18. So you do 3.6 grams divided by 18, which gives you 0.2 moles of um, water formed in this reaction. So you know how many moles of water are formed in the reaction. Next, we're going to work out the moles of magnesium chloride formed. So we need to know the, the molecular mass of magnesium chloride, first of all. Well, magnesium has got a relative atomic mass of 24. Chlorine is 35.5, but there's two of them. So 35.5 times 2 is 71, plus 24 is 95. So you know the relative formula mass. To work out the number of moles, you do the mass divided by the relative formula mass. So 9.5 grams divided by 95 is 0 0.1 moles of magnesium chloride formed. So now you know the ratio of moles is 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. Now, that doesn't work as a ratio, so it must be a 2 to 1 ratio. So from that, you can calculate and work out the complete equation using moles from the masses that you had at the start. So it doesn't get harder than that, I don't think, um, but you can do it. Have confidence, believe in yourself, and practice, practice, practice.